Hey guys, GW Smallwood, the Shaving Disciple, coming at you this weekend with just a nice relaxing weekend shave. No product reviews, I'll talk about the stuff I'm using a little bit, but let's just uh, do a shave today. So today I prepped, um, been trying out some Vanillet beard oil. Um, I don't think this agrees with my skin, as you can see, I've got a few bumps that I've Kind of developed over the last week of using it so this is probably going to be my last day i think i've given it a good trial and i don't think it agrees with my skin but um, this is what i prepped with today and i'll be using that as my beard oil shaving soap today we are going to be using sapone di paolo it's a fun word to say huh paolo always reminds me of the guy from friends um, so this is a Soap that is no longer produced in this form. Um, Sapone de Paolo rebranded a couple of years ago as 11 soaps. Um, and this particular one is Pulito, which means clean. Uh, olive, musk, and citrus. It's a really, really nice clean scent. You get, you get the citrus, but it's not incredibly bright. Um, it's kind of muted by the musk. Um, to me, this smells similar to Taylor of Old Bond Street's uh, avocado. I actually picked this up at um, Old Town Shaving in Pasadena. No longer there, but it used to be. Um, and I couldn't, I had a really hard time deciding between this and the Tobbs avocado because they smell similar to me. Uh, so I am lathered up in my Captain's Choice Bowl. Brush today is a Shave Forge slash DS Cosmetic candle. Um, this one has an Evershave Plus Off style 24 millimeter knot in it. Um, I don't think you can get this particular knot anymore. Um, Evershave is now Turn and Shave and I don't think he offers this particular Plus On style knot anymore. Uh, but it's just a, it's a, it's a run of the mill Plus On style 24 millimeter synthetic. Let's go ahead and get lathered up here. Uh, so this particular scent isn't offered by uh, 11 soaps any longer. They discontinued it a while ago, which is a shame. It's a nice scent. Um, it's not the strongest scent. I'd put it kind of on the low side of medium scent strength, uh, but it's, it's just a nice fresh scent. Um, it's actually become my wife's favorite soap to use. Uh, she started, she finally got her shaving with my injector razor. And so she's been using that and using my shave soaps. And this is one of her favorites, probably her top soap. So it's a shame they don't make this scent anymore. I really enjoy it. Um, I've heard really good things about their other soaps too, though. This particular one um, in the Sapone de Palo formula, uh, it, it does not have any tallow, but it did have lanolin, so it's not a, not a vegetal soap. The new formula, I think, has tallow. I don't have any of the new 11 branded soaps yet. So yeah, I decided to do just a nice little weekend shave this week. It's been it's been a rough couple of months, and I just kind of needed a nice relaxing shave today. Nice clean, fresh scent. Um, today would actually have been my grandpa's birthday. He passed away in November of last year, so. Kind of celebrating Grandpa today, but we have had quite the month in our house. We have a 13 year old dog that about a month ago had a trip to the emergency room um, for some leg problems. That ended up being okay, but we found out about a week ago, <clears throat> actually it might have been Monday, um, that she has thyroid cancer. So 
going to be taking her to her last vet visit next week. Razor today. I am using the above the tie. This is the H1. Um, I also have the H2, but this is the one I prefer, the H1. Um, and the Atlas handle, stainless steel, brushed. This is the original um, version. They, they also now make this in the Windsor variant, which covers the blade tabs more. I don't really mind. These don't tick, stick out very far. Um, and the handles are a little bit longer on the new Windsor version, which is what I don't like as much. Um, this is a nice, nice short handle, which I actually prefer. Um, so I'm going to be using this guy today. So yeah, like I said, we're, we're uh, trying to enjoy our last week with our 13 year old boxer mix dog. Uh, she's been a good dog. She was actually my grandma's dog. Uh, my grandma got her as a puppy just a few months, no, a few weeks uh, before she went into the hospital for the last time. So I ended up adopting her after my grandma passed away. And we've had her for over 13 years. Uh, we've also got a golden doodle that we adopted or that we uh, bought about a year ago and he actually had a trip to the vet as well he got stung by a scorpion we had a little bit of rain and in Arizona when the rains come the scorpions tend to come out and so he was outside came in limping and wouldn't put any weight on his foot and we weren't sure if he had a serious issue or what turns out he got bit by a scorpion. So good first pass on the top of the head there. So this is this is a fairly fairly aggressive, but um, not not incredibly so. I don't think a lot of people talk about this as w one of the top tier aggressive razors. Um, I actually think most of the adjustables wide open are far more aggressive than this. But it does have a lot of blade feel. Uh, nothing like the R41. Or like I said, or like a wide open adjustable. So we also, this week, just got a new oven. That actually got delivered today. So our oven went out. Um, it was around 25 years old, so not too surprising. We got a new oven today. We have an appointment on Monday with a contractor to put our second bathroom back together. So we had a mold issue that we discovered at the beginning of the year. Um, not bad, but it was bad enough that they had to tear the entire bathroom apart to get rid of it before it got bad. So we've been sharing a bathroom with the four of us in my house for a month. So we're trying to get that put back together. Um, our dryer also broke last week for the second time. I fixed it at the end of last year. And um, replaced, a, replaced a fuse on it but I didn't replace the thermostat, which is, I think, where I went wrong. And so it blew the fuse and the thermostat this time. So we gotta get our, we're going to get our dryer vent cleaned just to make sure that's not contributing to the problem. And we're going to try and fix the dryer, but the parts, unfortunately, are stuck in Kansas with the bad storms they've had. So my wife is actually heading over to her mom's house today to do some of our laundry. So we're looking forward to getting our house put back together. We also uh, had our check engine light come on on one of our cars. 
it shut itself back off again, my wife said, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem, but keeping an eye on that too. So just a lot of, a lot of stuff hitting at once. Got notified at work a few weeks ago. Actually going to go across the grain on the back here. Got notified at work a few weeks ago that somebody had filed an unemployment insurance claim in my name. And I'm still employed, so certainly wasn't me. So I've been had to deal with that as well. <clears throat> A lot of stuff going on. Um, I did actually recently win a YouTube giveaway though. Uh, the Wet Shave Experience of Brian over at his channel. I'll link it below. He makes some good videos. He's relatively new to traditional shaving, but he makes some nice videos. Um, does a lot of good, features a lot of good software products. So I, I won, won a giveaway from Brian uh, for Bear Stern Man's Frankly My Pair. I do have a couple of Bear Stern Man soaps. I haven't found a scent of theirs that I absolutely love yet, but I do really enjoy the performance of their soaps. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. Hopefully the scent is one that I really enjoy. So not all bad. I mean, you know, our, our lives um, we've really been blessed through this pandemic. Um, I know a few people who've lost loved ones. Uh, my, my aunt actually technically died with it, but she was in a home, um, state, state home, and she had been basically refusing food and dealing with other issues already so you know I don't I don't think it's completely true to say that she died from coronavirus she was kind of already headed downhill anyways um, but the rest of our family has been healthy and that's been good I've stayed employed, which is also great considering what a lot of people have been going through. Um, we do miss church. We've been doing church online for almost a full year now. And it's just not the same. But living in Arizona where the coronavirus numbers and cases have been so bad, we just think it's been a wise decision to continue doing church online. So our, our pastor, we just started a new series and our pastor was talking about work. And one of the things that he was talking about in last week's sermon <clears throat> was that sometimes to get things to grow, touch up on the back of the head a little bit, but otherwise good. Sometimes in order to get things to grow, you need a little bit of fertilizer. And I kind of feel like that's maybe what's going on with our lives right now. Dealing with quite a few relatively minor things, but kind of all hitting us at once. Might be something we're supposed to be learning here. Some way we're supposed to be growing through this. So I hope everybody else is 
doing well out there, having a better start to 2021 than everybody had in 2020. Years, years really going by fast. Hard to believe we're almost to the end of February already. All right, and that's the head shade. Now we're gonna go on to the face. So I'm looking forward to spring. Arizona has been warming up a little bit. We've had a kind of a, for us, a chilly week here, along with everybody else. Obviously, we don't have anything to complain about considering what's been going on in Texas and all these places that have had these power outages and water disturbances and we haven't had to deal with any of that and luckily you know even the things we've been dealing with are getting our bathroom fixed that was it's going to be partially covered by insurance and um, you know new oven and if we have to get a new dryer all those things we've been budgeting for so we, we were prepared for them it's one of the things that we really learned from uh, <clears throat> kind of following the Dave Ramsey plan and getting out of debt is the one thing about emergencies is you know they're gonna happen. Everybody has them. So, a little bit of discipline, build up that emergency fund, and be ready for them. So we were able to kind of sacrifice for a few years and get ourselves completely out of consumer debt um, it's been, let's see, it's been about five or six years ago now. It took us another probably two years to build up that emergency fund. But we've seen the dividends. You know, these, these issues that could have hit us all at once and really would have sent us into a panic and set us back our problems still and they're not fun but we at least have the means to deal with them without panicking So it's just a tip for you guys. If, uh, if you're struggling and something like this would have really set you back, uh, check out Dave Ramsey. We followed his plan and it works. It's maybe not the best plan out there, not the most fantastic plan for everybody, Everybody always knows or thinks they know better. And there were some things I didn't like about the plan either, but any plan is better than the best plan in the world that you don't use. So we decided to take the leap and follow it, and it's been great for our family.
we were talking a little bit on one of the Facebook groups about Big Shave Southwest. So normally, this is the time of year when we would be preparing for it. Starting to set aside the budget, making the vacation plans. Um, I'm here in Arizona, so I uh, obviously don't have to book hotel or anything, but um, I, I did, for the first one, take a few days off. I went down to Tombstone with Douglas and the guys. And we were all just kind of lamenting not being able to do it last year or this year. So, really looking forward to the time when we can do that again. Alright, so the uh, Above the Tie H1 did a great job. I'm going to go hit the shower and see if there's any spots to touch up and then I'll come back for post shave. Alright, I'm back for post shave. So, finished up with my Gentleman John alum block. Um, not, not, no stinging really. A um, little bit of places where I had some, uh, some of the bumps that I was talking about. Um, but otherwise, alum went on fine. Nice close shave with the Above the Tie Atlas H1 razor. And uh, finished up with the Got a sample from the razor company in my last order of this Saponificio Vericino. Uh, this is the Setantissimo. Um, this is one of their 70th anniversary scents. Um, it's nice. Uh, this is marketed as being uh, kind of somewhere in between a balm and a splash. Um, it's very liquidy like a splash, but there's a lot of oils in it. Um, so the after up application feel of it um, I can see it feels kind of balm like after applying it and letting it dry down um, the scent is nice I don't love it um, it's not something I would buy for myself uh, but I don't mind it either it's it's not bad um, I can see how a lot of people would like it um, it's kind of cologne um, some kind of green floral notes underneath of it it's it's nice all right, so that's the shave for today. I hope everybody out there has a fantastic week ahead, and we'll see you next video.